Hi guys and welcome back and if you are new here, welcome. So I finally, finally have time to sit down and film all of the recent stuff I picked up from Ulta, Morphe, uh, BoxyCharm, Points. So if this is a video you are interested in, then you should stick around. Also remember, if you are not yet subscribed, click that subscribe button down below. Stick around, join us, we have fun here, at least I hope we do. And don't forget to click that thumbs up. But let's jump into this haul. <laughs> So I got this package from BoxyCharm. Those of you that don't know, BoxyCharm is a monthly box subscription. And over time, you can accumulate BoxyCharm points, which is called charm points. You can use them in their charm room and you can get basically free stuff with your points. If you hoard your points like I do, because I hoard my points and I wait until they have really, really good stuff. So I was able to use my points to pick up not one, not two, not three, but four of the Sol del Janeiro. And this is the Coca Cabana cream. I picked up four of them. I have three here. I gave one to my daughter. Now, guys, I've already started using this. This is what it looks like. When you smell it at first, it has that coconut smell, but then I couldn't think what it reminded me of. And I used it, and first of all, let me tell you something. I'm on the fence with this. I'm not sure if I 100% like it. It did leave my skin sticky-like and tacky after I put the cream on, and I'm kind of like thinking, why did I get a bunch of them now? Uh, it didn't last the tackiness, I want to say like 15, 20 minutes, but when I did put it on, I kept thinking to myself, should I go back in the shower and wash this off? Like, why do I feel sticky? Like, my hands felt really, really sticky, like I was playing with glue. I don't know, but it did go away, which is a good thing. But I couldn't for the life of me figure out what this stuff smells like. You get like that coconut smell from it, but I was like, this this smells so familiar. And I couldn't realize what it was, and I had it on, and I had walked past my husband, and he said to me, come here. And I'm like, what, what did I do? And he's like, why do you smell like an oatmeal cookie? And it hit me. This stuff... Now, I'm going to take you way, way back. Remember they used to have the little quarter bag of cookies and they came four in a pack and it was a clear bag and it had blue writing on it. I cannot for the life of me remember the name of the, the brand themselves, but they were a quarter and you would get four cookies. This smells exactly like the oatmeal cookies. I don't know why. It's the oatmeal cookies, the hint of coconut. But here's the thing. When you put it on your body and you have it on for like five minutes as you're rubbing it in, the scent kind of changes. And I thought maybe it was just like the way it was reacting with my skin, my, my pH and all of that. It started to smell like buttered popcorn. And I was like, what the hell? I was glad when he said I smelled like an oatmeal cookie that the buttered popcorn smell had gone away. And I thought that it was just me, but it really, really wasn't because my daughter, I gave her one. She said the same exact thing. It smells like buttered popcorn as you're rubbing it on your body and then it does die down and go away. But I'm not sure if like, I don't know. I don't know if I like these. I don't. I have to try them more. Maybe if I mix them with the original one and mix them together, maybe they'll play nice and make a better scent. But, I mean, I have three of them. I'm going to have to get through them. I'm going to have to use them because I have them. Waste not, want not, right? But I'm on the fence. I'm not 100% sure how I really feel about those yet. So, next... I picked up, finally, from Morphe, they had it finally in stock, the 39S palette. You guys, this thing is freaking 
Beautiful. Beautiful. It is big. It is big and bulky. This is what the outside looks like. Maybe if I hold it the right way, you guys can read that it says Morphe. Uh, let's open it up. This is, again, you can't throw this out. I hate these things because they have the shade names on it. But this is the palette with all of the purples. You guys know that purples are my favorite color. Purples and greens, I will forever love. And especially with my skin tone, the purples, greens, they look, I personally think they look really, really, really nice. But I have used this. I absolutely love it. So if you guys are into purples, this is definitely, definitely the palette for you. And now, now guys, there's this whole box in here from Ulta and it's a mix of a whole bunch of things. So first, let's get into the Anastasia collab with Jackie, 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 Jackie. The packaging alone, look at it. It's so, so pretty. So pretty. Let's open her up. This is the outside of it. Same packaging as all the other Anastasia. Does have the mirror does have the brush and this is what the shades look like you guys now i have used this because like i said i have been just sitting here with all the stuff that needed to get filmed and i've been so busy between working and getting ready for back to school that i haven't had a chance to sit now that i do i want to give you my opinions I really do think that this palette is very, very pretty. One, I bought it because I have all the Anastasia palettes and I love, love all of her palettes. Minus the one we won't talk about. But for me, I don't think if you don't have this because it's limited edition, I don't think it's something that you need to run out and buy and have. You could probably save your money on it. I feel like when I used credit let's flip it so i can read i used credit ginger edges and zaman and i feel like it was a very beautiful natural look you can pull that off with this palette but i do feel like they all just blended into each other and kind of looked like one color after all of that work and effort of sitting there and putting all different colors and shades in. So, I mean, I don't think it's something that you really, really need that you have to run out and have. I mean, if you collect her palettes, then by all means, if you support Jackie, 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 then by all means, pick it up. But it's not something that you have to have in your collection at all. Although I am excited because, you know, you see the purple shade. I do want to play around with this one, and I do want to play around with Shookington. I, I'm so excited. So if you guys want to see a look created with this palette, comment down below and let me know, and I will do that for you guys. Okay, the next thing that I picked up from Ulta was the It Cosmetics collab with Dry Bar, and this is their Lash Blowout, and... The claims on it, I'm going to tell you, I, I used it today. I have it on right now. The, claim, the claims on it are 19 times your volume, 93% more voluminous all day. Now, let me explain something to you guys. This is what it looks like. How cute is the packaging alone? It looks like a little, like, blow dryer. I mean, the packaging is absolutely adorable and... That's about it. Really, seriously. The claims on it are 19 times your volume. I do like it. It does give my lashes volume, but it doesn't do 19 times. Not at all, not even close. It does make them look nice. It does make them look slightly more voluminous than usual. But again, for the price of this, there are drugstore ones that do the same amount. If it was giving me 19 times more volume, then by all means, it would definitely be worth the price. But just for something that 
does the same thing that a drugstore product would do. I don't recommend this. I would save my money on this. I mean, I could get the same effect from the other It one, the superhero. And I talk about superhero all the time. I absolutely love the superhero mascara. That is my favorite mascara of all times. But this one, I'm going to use it, and it's probably something that I will not repurchase. Okay, guys, so now we're getting into the Morphe Jeffrey stuff that I picked up. Those of you that don't like Jeffrey, I'm sorry, then you might want to click out now. But however, I do like Jeffrey. I do like his products. I think his products are amazing. The pigmentation, everything on them, you cannot go wrong. When he tells you his products are good, he is not lying. So I do buy his stuff because if it's a product that's going to work, it's a product that's going to give pigmentation. It's stuff that is going to last and give you the 100% claims that are behind it. I am going to buy it. So let's get into this. The first thing that I picked up was the Morphe Jeffrey Artistry Palette. First of all, I like the packaging. It's very plain. It's very simple. A, a, a little hollow here. It's pink. I mean, would you expect anything less from Jeffrey? Absolutely not. The back has a little uh, note on, the, on it. It says, hi, how are you? We all know I live for making a bold statement, especially with my makeup. The world needs color and I'm serving it up by the pound. Yo, he ain't lying about that. But anyway, there's a lot of a lot of jazz on the back. We don't need to sit here and read it. This is the outside of the palette. And it has the protection. It does have a giant mirror. And these are the shades that you get in here, guys. This is the palette I use today to create this look. If you guys want to see me use this palette, you want to see me create this look, you want to see me create a different look, again, comment down below and let me know. But look at how beautiful these colors are. Again, I can't wait to get in with these greens, these purples, these pinks. Oh my God. But a little drop of this palette does go a really long way. It is very pigmented. It is very, very bold and bright and you can't go wrong. There is fallout. I don't mind the fallout, but I will tell you this shade right here, this one here, which is called Millions, you will need a glitter glue to use this. Uh, it won't go on without glitter glue. It won't give you the full, full effect of it. So if you don't have glitter glue and you are interested in this palette and this shade, make sure you have some glitter glue just so you can get the full effect of it. I mean, what like when you swatch it, this is what it looks like. But then you see how it's kind of like skippy in areas and you don't get the full, full glitter effect. If you do use a glitter glue, you won't have that problem and you will get the full effect of it. But again... I love this palette already. I've used it twice. I, I, I can't get enough. I cannot. The next thing that I picked up from the Morphe Jeffrey collab was the setting spray. And this is the Starberry scent. Let's shake her up and give her a spray. I will be honest. The first time that I got it, I got this three days ago. And I don't know if it was because it came off of the hot truck. And I, I was like, couldn't wait. I was dying to smell it. To me, it didn't really smell good, and I was thinking that I got a bad batch. So I figured I would sit here now. Before I tell you if I like it, if I don't like it, I want to respray it. So let's shake her up. It has that berry scent. But like an artificial berry scent. See, like, no, I'm not comparing brands or anything like that. But I have a Morphe setting spray, and it's lavender scent, and it smells like lavender. It doesn't smell like artificial lavender. This smells like artificial strawberry. You get the strawberry. But when I, I personally, when I see something that says strawberry scented, my mind automatically goes right back to my childhood, and I think of the little strawberry shortcake dolls. Y'all know those. Okay, if you, if you were born in the 80s, in the 70s, y'all know those dolls, okay? 
the little strawberry shortcake dolls and they always smelled like fresh real strawberries so when i hear strawberry scented my mind automatically goes there this to me smells like artificial strawberries i can't tell you because obviously i just sprayed it now if it does any different if it makes your makeup last longer whatever we will further explore that down the line but i don't think this would be something i would pick up again because <sighs> my face feels sticky now that's weird um I, I don't know i just for an artificial strawberry scent it's not it's not really worth it and i think it was 18 dollars for this so use it up and i'll let you guys know maybe when i do my hits or misses my thoughts on this because i'm gonna have to use it more to decide whether i like it or not the next thing that i did pick up was the sponges which i have not used yet been dying to try these because again i haven't had a chance to sit down and film and i didn't want to come on here with dirty dirty sponges this is the three sponges it's the beauty trio you get a big beauty blender a little one and a small one let's can we open this i didn't bring scissors Okay, I didn't bring scissors, so we're not going to open this, but I'm sure in one of my get readies, you'll see me using this, and I will let you know what I think. The next thing that I picked up was the Morphe X Jeffrey Eye Brush Collection, and this is the 10-piece. This is the outside of it. So in here, you get a crease, a blender, a double trouble brush, a drama crease brush, the fluffier crease brush, diva crease brush blunt packer blush sports mode blender brush palm crease blush and happy ending liner brush he never let you down with his names i will tell you that you also get this bag of course it's pink um let's open it up this bag is really good for if you have to travel it's, it's pretty deep so if you have to travel and you get this, you could throw all your brushes right back in here, plus some extra brushes. But this is what they look like. Let's take them out of the packaging so you could see them up close. We'll just do a couple. We don't have to sit here and go through all of them. They are very soft. So I can't wait to wash these and try them this is another one focus they are soft and i want to see the happy ending brush so it has a spoolie on the end and this is the top for your brows now this is very soft can you guys see that like here it is very very soft I personally prefer the brow brushes that are a little bit more stiffer, but I'm, I'm excited to try this. I mean, he did say this was the happy ending brush, so maybe it'll give me a happy ending with my brows, but we'll see. And the last thing I picked up was the second brush set, which is the Morphe X Jeffree Star Blush Collection. And this is the seven piece set and this is what the packaging looks like in here you get the size queen brush point blank precision brush iconic contour brush fly high brush crease queen rule blender and the double trouble brush so this is what the outside looks like it's clear again this is also great if you have to travel you can use it as travel and if you're in school and you have this you can use it as a pencil case look at that double things to do with it let's open her up again when you open it it's very deep like look at how big you can open this i can put this on my head see i fit it on my head so it's pretty big it's deep oh my god it smells like plastic don't do that don't do that anyway let's open these brushes and just see a few of them look at this handle on this brush this is so pretty hi how are you 
Welcome back. This is very soft. I'm excited to try that one. Uh, oh, this is a different one. This is not the happy ending one. But it's the same, so same, just different name. And then we have this one, which is the JS3. Again, very super, oh, look at that. Can you guys see the dust coming off of that? Oof. Definitely got to wash these first. Let's try that out on another one. This one is the JS2. I love the handles on this, guys. Oh, my goodness. Now, ready? Let's see. Ooh, Morphe, where are you putting your brushes? That they come so dirty. Anyway, guys, that is the Jeffrey brush collection. But have you guys picked up anything new from Ulta? I know that by the time I edit and upload this video, they're going to have the 21 Days of Beauty going on. I'm not going to go too crazy at the 21 Days of Beauty. Honestly, guys, this year, usually I go balls to the walls when it's 21 Days of Beauty. But I have so much stuff here that I need to get through. I am really only going to pick up the necessities, things that I constantly use, things that I'm running low on, things that... I'm actually going to use and that I'm not going to purchase because they're on sale and then they're going to go in my drawer that I have. I have a whole freaking drawer, guys, of stuff that I've purchased because they were on sale. It's products that I liked and, and bought two or three of them and have not even finished one yet. So I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not going to overstock myself. I want to get through everything so that this way nothing is ever wasted before I have to sit down and, and decide, well, this has been sitting here and it's never been used and it's old now and it's got to go. But guys, that's it for this haul. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you are not yet subscribed, subscribe to my channel. And until next time, bye guys.